Today we're going to use Expo and Firebase to create a chat app in under 15 minutes. So let's get started. We'll start out by creating a Firebase project. And we'll give our project a name. Then we'll create a web project, adding in our name, and we'll be given back a configuration. And next, I'm going to initialize my Expo project using the navigation template. Then I'll open up the project in my text editor and add some additional packages. So installing Firebase. And then also installing React Native Async Storage. Now we need to add in the necessary imports to initialize the app. And add in our configuration. Next we'll import React Native Async Storage and initialize the auth and you can see we're getting an error there so we go into TS config and add the following line. Then we'll import get Firestore and initialize our database. And then in Firebase we need to go add authentication and Firestore to our project. And for authentication, we're just going to use email and password. And choose the Cloud Firestore option. And go through the setup process here. And then we'll change the rules for this and we're just going to set this to true for now. Later on in the project we will be changing this. And then we'll head back to our code base. Then I'm going to install a package called React Native Paper. It's a component library so it will give us a couple of components we'll be using and different screens. Then we'll create a theme file and we will put the theme configuration within this file, exporting it. And back in our layout, we'll import paper provider from React Native Paper and theme. And then we'll wrap the app within the paper provider, passing in the theme as the prop. And we're gonna make it so that the app is only dark mode and we can get rid of the color scheme hook there and also the import above for it. Next, we'll create three different new files. These will represent screens. One will be the landing screen, the next will be the login screen, and then the last will be a registration screen. We'll start by building the landing screen first. Up top, we'll add our imports from React Native, Expo Router, React Native Paper, and React Native Safe Area Context. Then we'll export our component and return a safe area view with some text for the title and two buttons, one for registering and then one for logging in. Then we'll navigate to the login screen and start to build it out. We'll start by adding our imports from React Native, React Native Safe Area Context, React Native Paper, Firebase Auth, Expo Router, and React. Then we'll create some stateful variables and get the auth from Firebase. Then we'll create a function to log in the user, first validating they have valid inputs, then signing them up through Firebase, pushing them to the main screen of our app if they do log in successfully. But do note, our app currently isn't set up like this, so we'll have to make some changes so that it is, but we've already accounted for that. If we get an error, we'll just display it. Then we'll return a safe area view with some text saying sign in. And then we'll have two inputs, one for email, one for password. And finally, we'll have a button to log the user in. Then we'll create the register screen by copying the login screen code and going to the register file, then pasting it in. 
and then just making a couple of different changes. So the first one, just renaming the function to register screen and then changing the login user function to register user for the name and then changing the button to say register and changing the title to say create an account then we need to change the import so that instead of signing a user in we create the user within firebase and that's it next we'll register these screens within our layout file in the app folder so navigate there and then down at the bottom we'll add the screens for landing login and register next we'll add a new directory to the project and we'll put it in the app folder and it will be called app but wrapped in parentheses and then we'll move the tabs folder into that and within the app folder we'll also create another folder for the chat so within chat we'll create a layout file and then within that we need to import slot and just return it as the default component then we'll create another file called id and make sure to wrap it in those brackets and another file called search then we'll rename two to settings and then we'll go into layout import use state from react import get off get app and all of these other imports from firebase import router and then text as well then we'll create a stateful variable get the app db then we'll create a listener to see if the user is authenticated if they are we'll create them in their database if they aren't we replace them to landing screen and if it's loading we just show a loading screen next we'll replace this with the title of messages we're going to delete the header right icon and then for the tab icon we need to set that to envelope next we need to rename that to settings because we renamed the file change the title to settings and then change the name to gear now we need to go into layout and we'll change our initial route name to app slash tabs now this is what the app will look like we'll create an account and this will just be a fake account just to make sure that it works and whenever we register that account we get taken to this screen and we'll do a sign-in demonstration as well but as you saw there at the top we have headers showing so we'll have to go and remove those in the layout file in the layout file in the app directory go down to the bottom switch the name so that it reads app tabs and then we'll create another screen for chat and then we'll go to the settings file and we'll delete everything and then start to build this screen We'll start by adding imports from React Native, Firebase Auth, and React Native Paper. Then we'll create a function to log the user out, and we'll return a view with some text in the center, along with the email address and a button to sign the user out. Next, we'll build out the main screen, so go to the index file and tabs and delete everything. Like the other screens, we'll need to add in our necessary imports. Then we'll export our default function, making sure to get the database and the current user and creating this conversation stateful variable. Now in this use effect hook, we'll get the conversations the user's taken part in, and then we need to subscribe to that. So that's what the second part is. And then we'll create a function to create a chat, which will just take us to another screen. Then at the top of the screen, we'll have a messages title and an icon to create a chat. Then we want to check if the user has conversations, and if they do, then we want to display the typical list of conversations that any chat app would have. So we need to get the opposite user, and then we'll display a pressable component, which when pressed, it will take them to their chat. And then on that component, we want to display the user's email, the date of the last text, and then the text itself. And if they don't have any chats, then we'll just display you have no messages and a button to create some. So this is what it looks like. We do still have two headers there on the first screen, so we're gonna have to fix that. Or you could put the icon on the right side of the header. All that we have to do now is just create a search screen for users and the chat screen itself. So go into the layout file within the tabs folder and go to the option for index 
and then say header shown is false. Next, we'll navigate to the chat search screen and start to build this thing out. First, we'll need to add all of our imports. Then we will export our default function. Then we need to get the auth object, db, and then create a couple of stateful variables. And we need to create a function which will get search results based on the user input and query our Firestore. And we'll use a use effect hook to call this every time the search query changes. Then create a function to handle whenever the enter keys press on the keyboard. And finally, we'll start returning some components. So at the top of the screen, we'll render an icon for going back and a text input for entering text. Then if there's a search query and there are no users returned, then we'll just return some text saying no users found. Otherwise, we will display the list of users in a pressable component showing their email. When there's no search query, we'll say search users by email. Now navigate to the chat ID file and then open up your terminal and install React Native Gifted Chat. Then we'll add our imports up top. Then we'll create variables for the messages and conversation ID and we need to get the ID and email from the local search parameters and get the current user and database. Then we'll get the messages of the conversation if it exists and subscribe to the conversation. And we'll create a function for sending messages. In it is where we will create messages and create a conversation if one does not exist or append messages to an existing conversation. And for the components we'll return, it'll just be the email of the opposite user and a back button along with the gifted chat. And the last thing we need to do is go into our Firestore and change the rules so that the appropriate users can access the conversations and those that shouldn't be able to can't. Here for this function down at the bottom for our return statement, we are just anding all of those variables up above, making sure that they are true. So here is a demo of the final product. On the left, I have my iPhone and on the right is my Android. And as you can see, it automatically updates whenever one user gets a chat from the other. So that is really nice. And it doesn't matter if you're within the chat or within the general messages list screen. So that's pretty cool. Now for some homework for you is I would suggest adding in uh, notifications as well as you know, cleaning up the code. I just added in the styles uh, in line, but if you want a more performant app, you would use the style sheet and just basic stuff like that. So I hope that you enjoyed and thanks for watching.